Hello, zombie players. Today, uh, well, welcome back to uh, Zombie Slaying Academy, as I'm now calling it. Uh, so I'm not really in the videos like that. That's why I should put it in the first place, because it's badass. Anyway, Zombie Slaying Academy. In depth, uh, Cod Zombies Transit. Uh, this will be about the power switch, how to build it, um, all the possible locations for um, any pieces to the power switch. Um, and yeah, this is uh, Steve the Zombie. Now, unfortunately, we did this video earlier with my friend, uh, with my friend Tomo. But um, my Elgato is playing up, and it won't capture my Turtle Beach while recording my party chat. So I'm having to record from my external mic, which actually is not bad quality at this point. Right, so this is the third th third stop from the depot. So obviously you start at the depot, so it's not counted as a stop. The first stop is the burner. The second stop is the farm, and the third stop is the power, the power stop. So, you're going to want to get off the bus. I hate saying you're going to want to, because everyone else is there. It drives me nuts. But I do it anyway. Anyway, what you will need to do, there we go, it's done. You need to go to this outhouse here, it's looking so out of place. Uh, buy the door for a simple 750. Uh, and da da da, hit the place. Uh, there's a port loop, hasn't been flushed. Not too, not too. Uh, this we will talk about in another episode. But, dun dun dun! Reminds me of uh, one of the vaults in Fallout, but never mind that. Uh, this is the power room. It is a secret uh, underground facility at Route 935 where they were researching on the Avogadro, which is inside here. More information on the Avogadro, what he's for, and in fact, story will be in a later video. Uh, like I said, guys, if you need anything or you want any info put out there, uh, just ask, and I'll be sure to do it as soon as I possibly can. Now, there are three pieces to the power switch. This is the only buildable that does not hover above the bench, instead it is built against the wall in this place. Yeah. So, okay, now there are the spawns. Items can spawn here. Uh, any three, any three of the different items can spawn in, in these, these spots. So, uh, the backboard, the switch and the hand can spawn here. Uh, it can spawn here. Uh, it, it can spawn here. Uh, it can spawn on the top of the stairs, like it has here with the zombie hand. Zombie hand can also spawn over in the corner here. It's very difficult to see, but I always like turning my brightness up in games. So I apologise if it is too bright for you. Uh, but now all we need to do is look for the rest of the spawns, just so I can point out you guys so you can go, oh my god, it's not there. It'll be alright, you guys will be here. Uh, there'll be another spawn here. There'll be a spawn here, like there is. And there'll be a spawn here against the wall. So now we simply collect up the items. Uh, the items are consisting of the exact same items that Trey have decided in uh, their eyes uh, in the World of War map, which is simply a, a, a switch, a backboard, and uh, a zombie hand. Well, the zombie hand isn't necessary. It's necessary to build it, but they just wanted to put that in for the fans. So um, here we go. Uh, that is built. And we just simply need the last piece, which is the zombie hand outside the door. And you can see all the pieces are being added. So the last piece is being added now. And there we go. So, we can just ignore Steve the zombie. Uh, be careful because when you activate this switch, any zombies inside that room uh, will be killed. The metal shutter just closed just there. And that will block out any zombies on the other end until this process is finished. All the lightning you can see is coming from the other Godro, which is the, uh, the thunder zombie, or the lightning zombie, inside inside the, that little capsule there. By activating the power switch, you have released him, and by releasing him, uh, there are pros and cons, obviously. Uh, he's now restoring power to the rest of the town, and the cons is he, he, he will try and kill you, and he just doesn't die. So yeah, fun times. And that is the power switch. Now, with the Easter egg, if you keep it on, uh, and you are Samuel, you will hear Rip Fun when you walk outside of this room, and if you uh, turn it off, uh, well, as soon as you turn it on, Maxis will say, good, uh, we need to turn off the power, otherwise it's going to disrupt our talking between us. So this is this is where the branching of the Easter egg starts on transit. So choose which position you want it on. And this is, I will, uh, well, this is what uh, Richard will talk to Samuel about. And I hope everyone can hear it just fine. Okay. And here we go. Shoot first, oh, beg oh, for ammo later. Well, my friend, but this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Of your group, you are the only one who seems to be able to hear me. So you must convince your deaf friends to heat up the obelisk. 
setting a puny fire will not be enough. It must reach an extreme temperature. Now, if only you knew how to build a portable engine of some sort, which might go very hard. Hmm. Some sort of jet engine with an afterburner? Oh, what? You do? Oh, goody, goody. No. Why are you still standing here listening to voices in your head? Get to it, Schweinhund. Your Nazis will kill you all. And there you have it. You will find out exactly why he was talking to you. Uh, probably when the zombie story has concluded in Black Ops 2. But he wants you to heat up an obelisk, and that will be in a future video uh, for you covering the Easter egg, as I have done it, but not right to side. I've done Max's side, and it's a lot easier. Thank you very much for watching. This is Big Guardians, and I hope if you have enjoyed this video. Comment, let me know if you're doing it right and anything else that you would like to see slash hear or for me to cover. Again, thank you very much and happy slaying.